A radiation oncologist uses radiation to treat cancer patients. That may be for curative purposes or for symptom palliation. What I do specifically is oversee the radiation therapy treatment that uh, patients require. I work very closely with a wide range of specialists, including surgeons uh, who have often operated on the patient prior to them seeing me. Um, I work very closely with medical oncologists who are concerned with the chemotherapy or biological therapies that a patient may require. And also I work very closely with radiation therapists and radiation physicists to come up with the best radiation therapy plan for my patient. If we decide that radiotherapy is, uh, should be part of their treatment, we then recommend uh, the type of treatment and I prescribe it, uh, indicating what dose of radiation, which area to treat. Uh, and we also need to explain to patients what the roles of radiotherapy are, uh, what the potential toxicities are and what the possible outcomes are. Working with cancer patients is a, a real privilege. Um, cancer patients are clearly at a very vulnerable point in their lives and they need a great deal of support. Some people say to me that, um, gee, working with cancer patients, that must be hard, but we have to remember that nowadays, 60% of people who get cancer are cured. So for the majority of patients, uh, the treatment of, of their disease is a success story. A lot of the patients are like you or I. They come from normal, everyday lives, as we do, but yet they're faced with a really difficult situation. And I think in their doctors, they're looking for people who are caring, who can empathise with them, who will listen to them and try to do the best that they can for them in the most professional manner. I think the uh, attributes that make a good radiation oncologist are the same attributes that make uh, for a good doctor. A good bed bedside manner, a person that uh, can interact with the patient, put the patient at ease, make the patient feel very comfortable, that they can ask any question. I think that radiation oncologist offers something for almost any, uh, any personality type or any doctor. One of the great things about the job is the huge variety of work that one can become involved in. In future radiation oncologists, we would like to see people who are keen on research, keen on looking at evidence-based medicine and ways of improving treatments for patients, someone who enjoys the technicalities of planning treatments, um, and that may be looking at anatomy and working with computers and new technologies to deliver treatment. I would uh, tell medical students to strongly consider radiation oncology uh, for many reasons, but one of them is that it is possible to have a reasonable work-life balance um, whilst having a very interesting career at the same time. And some radiation oncologists prefer to be generalist so that they have a broad experience through their career and others choose to subspecialise in specific areas such as breast, prostate or lung cancer and that enables them to become uh, experts within the field. You can work in big city centres. We also have a lot of regional centres that offer radiation therapy treatment. I've been uh, working in radiation oncology for over 35 years and when I began we didn't have CT scans, we didn't have uh, computers uh, that were capable of doing the treatment planning so much of what we uh, did was based on examination of the patient, uh, simple x-rays and so there was a lot of guesswork as to where the cancer was. I started in radiation oncology about 10 years ago and even if I compare the treatments that I was able to offer 10 years ago to the treatments that I can offer now, I'm so much more um, uh, impressed by the individualisation of treatment that we can offer today. Uh, technology is going to really um, change a lot in the next a few years, enabling us to target treatments more effectively and to reduce the burden of um, side effects for patients. In addition to that, I think the combinations of uh, different chemotherapy agents and biological agents with radiation therapy will continue to improve outcomes for patients. I'd like to think, it won't happen in my lifetime, that when a patient comes into me with any form of cancer, I can say to them, 
I'm going to cure your cancer and it's not going to hurt a bit.